dad to take Naomi to school. Did he say anything? He said he was going to take Amy to school and then he was going to have a lap round the red wreck with Eccles. No, I mean, did he say anything about me? He hasn't finished with me yet. I lost my babies, ma'am. I was going to lose Stephen all. Does nobody care how I feel? You lied, Tracy. And you made me lie and all. I was trying to save my family for Amy. Is it so bad that I wanted my daughter to have a father? OK, I'll be in about ten. No rush, I can handle the Wilson order. OK, see you later. See you later. Are you happy, Frank? Well, considering I'm fighting a rape trial and I might be in prison by the end of next week, I'm as happy as can be expected. As far as Sally is concerned, I'm happier with her in my life than I would be without. Oh, you know, you've got a dinner meeting with Martin Robinson tonight. I do. Well, he's just split up from his wife. They were together 20 years. I know. Now might be a good time to renegotiate your contract. Kick him while he's down, you mean? <laughs> I mean, offer him a shoulder to cry on and then get him to knock 10% off his best price. People think I'm ruthless. We're having a business breakfast. Afraid so, not to get through. Did you manage to cancel that uh, meeting next week with Jenny Sumner, Wednesday? No, did you ask me to? Oh, no, I forgot. Will you, though? Uh, yeah, do you want me to reschedule? Well, I'll just best leave it for the time being. I'm not sure after a week in court how much I'm going to want to talk about lingerie, you know? Are you ready for this? No, not really. I'm not looking forward to the trial at all. But on the other hand, when Frank gets locked up and sent down for six years, I'm looking forward to that. Come for your tea. I mean, I know you don't like cooking. At least it's handy for a kebab shop. I can't live on kebabs. It's Victoria Court. It's a stone's throw away. I know. I'll still miss you. <laughs> yeah, well, I will. At least there'll be a bit more space around here. Sunday lunch. What? Come for your Sunday lunch. Well, give me a chance to settle in first. Well, I could help you do that. Yeah, you could do with a woman's eye. We can, uh, we can go shopping for rugs, and then I'll come round and cook you something nice in your new place. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Sunday lunch sounds great. Great, that's settled. Where's Max? Oh, he's upstairs. He was asking after Becky, you know. Mm. He's going to be late for school anyway. Oh, love. Why don't you let him have the day off? I mean, he must be very confused. Well, because we both have jobs. Well, you could look after him. I'll take him to the park and make a fuss of him. Uh, excuse me? OK, look, um, <laughs> have a great day. Look, get him there an ice cream for me. Well, hang on a minute. We've got that parents' evening thing tonight. Well, yeah, it's all right. We can go after work, can't we? I'm all right. Thanks, Gail. I'm out to the rescue. Come on, you'll be late for your shift. Thanks for last night. You're welcome. Mm. You are an incredible woman. Mm, it's been said before. Really? Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm a legend. Now, come on, there's bound to be some cat stuck up some tree that needs your help. Host. Mm. I'll call you. You better. <laughs> Oh, who's that? Who's what? In the door. Postman. Which team I'm a parched. What are you looking at? I think that's a good idea. Do you want a fat lip? What do you want? Steve, we need to talk. Can I come in, please? No. Say what you got to say and then get out my sight. Listen, we're married. I know I did a terrible thing, but do you have any idea what I went through when I lost our babies? What, you're saying the grief sent you mad? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Turned you into an insane, lying, deceitful, manipulative cow? Oh, Steve. Because that's what most people thought of you round here anyway. It was only me who was the idiot and thought you had a human heart in that rib cage. But I couldn't bear to lose you. You lied to me. That night you lost our babies, I was this close to sleeping with Becky, but I didn't. I walked away because I made a commitment to you. And you know what? I was quite pleased with myself. I thought, no, no, I'm a grown-up now. I'm a family man. I resisted temptation. I did the right thing. Just turns out I did it for the wrong flipping woman. No, Steve! <laughs> Don't you dare say 
say anything. Don't think I need to. <laughs> All right, Billy, no mates. Mm. Yeah, I'm hiding. So if anybody asks, you've not seen me, OK? Oh. Well, <clears throat> now I'm intrigued. Who are you hiding from? No. Me whole family. Oh, yeah. Well, I did hear it was an eventful wedding. No, no, no. It was an eventful reception, thanks to our Tracy. Anyway, shouldn't you be getting back to the factory? Well, there's no rush. <clears throat> Carla's gone into super-efficient mode. Sorting as much as she can out before the trial next week. Oh, right. Is she... is she OK? Uh, well, yeah. And how's it working out between you two, you know, living together? Well, I do love Carla, but it can be a bit full-on, you know, working and living together. To be honest, as soon as I can afford a deposit, I want to get a place of my own. Well, everybody needs their own space, don't they? Mm. Bit of peace and quiet and that. <laughs> All right, in taken. No, no. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. OK, fine with And five makes ten. Trouble with Tracy is she's incapable of telling the truth. Mm. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? She lied in court to get me sent down for murder. Hey, it all happens round here. You don't know the half. <laughs> At least Becky's happy in Barbados, living it up with Mr Wonderful. Uh, Pity Tracy can't fly off somewhere, terrorise some other community. Uh, uh, speaking of terrorists... Oh, excellent, an audience. I, I do need to practise under the pressure of a live performance. I'll be, I'll be set up in two ticks. So this? <laughs> He's learning piano for a bit. Can he play? He could give Les Dawson a run for his money. Oh, Max, come here. I think it's time we got off to the park. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hey. He's good. He's very good. He's too good. Well done. Oh, Max, say goodbye to Auntie Rita. Oh, Max. Goodbye, love. Hang on, his fingers aren't touching the keys. Oh, yes, they are. A light touch, and this is a very sensitive keyboard. Norris, stop, please. Yes, when I, when I, when I get to the end. Norris, stop. <laughs> Come on. It's the keyboard playing, not it. Oh, fiddlesticks. I knew this wouldn't work. Well, that's cheating. Turn it off. Norris. Yes, I, I'm, I'm trying. It, 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 it won't stop. <laughs> there you go. Be lucky. Well, I'll wait outside till the Anna gone. Look, she's only just nipped across to me. Dad, she could be back any second. Oh, please, Peter, I really need to see you. Please. Look, there's a lovely restaurant on the other side of town. Come on, I've got the trial coming up next week. Peter, I can't do this without you. OK, what time? Seven. It's called Alonzo's. All right, I'll see what I can do. But I'm not promising anything now. Go. Thank you. And unplug it! I have unplugged it! Well, it must be running on batteries. Where do you put the batteries there in? There aren't any batteries. Shh! It's customer. It's Sylvia! C -c -c Cover for me! I'll see how I feel. Hello. Uh, 45p, love, please. That the pocket Bobby Crush back there? He's been practising all morning. To be honest, it's getting on my nerves now. It's coming on, I'll say that for him. Can I have a look? He's a bit shy. When he's practising. Really? <laughs> Shy, you say. How's he going to play the piano? When he's under the spotlight, when the pressure of the expectant crowd make his hands moist and his throat dry. <laughs> He'll crack. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> She's gone now. You can stop. Oh, thank goodness for that. And please, turn it off. Tom, tell me more times to tell you. I can't turn it off to spoon. Oh, oh. Peace at last. Now all you need to do is tell the fragrant Murray that you've killed her pride and joy. Oh, thanks for helping out, love. It's all hands to the pump here. Well, if I can't think of anything useful to say, at least I can make a potty. I don't want tea. I want booze. Lots of it. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. Look, what have we got in the house? I don't care what it is. I'll drink anything. I just want something to render me unconscious. And what are you doing here? I don't want you here. Uh, excuse me, I'm here to support Deirdre. Yeah, and trust me, I need the support. We're in here, Can. Did Amy get off to school all right? Oh, really? <laughs> she asked me questions all the way there. Questions that I didn't know the answer to because neither of you thought it necessary to talk to me. Don't start on me. I'm sorry, but I will start and I won't stop until I understand what on earth the two of you thought you were playing at. I was just trying to help Tracy. Help? 
by spreading malicious lies? She just lost her babies. I was worried about her. Well, that still doesn't explain why you didn't talk to me. Because I didn't think you'd understand. Well, you're right. I don't. Steve. Hey, me about. Uh, she's at school. Good. Then I'll keep this brief so we don't have any more misunderstandings. I've arranged to see my solicitor. I'm going to get this marriage annulled. I'll be Amy's dad. Hopefully, we'll be able to explain to her what's happened without completely traumatising her. As for me and you, we are over. Forever. End off. <sighs> Can't blame him. Well, it was pretty brutal. I know how I felt after a miscarriage. It's horrible. Yeah, I know, love, of course. But, you know, she covered it up and then blamed Becky for it. I mean, what's that? That's pretty mad, isn't it? No, but she loves him, doesn't she? She loves him. Well, she's got a very weird way of showing it. Hey, you fancy going out tonight? I don't think your dad and Deirdre will be up to babysitting duties right now. Oh, all right. It's just that, uh, Loza, you phoned earlier from the dog track. There's a gang going down tonight. The dog track? Yeah, dog track. Since when have I long for a night at the dog track? Besides, it's his parents' thing at school. Oh, right, OK, well, uh, I'll, I'll tell him I can't make it. Oh, it's all right. I'll take sight of the school, you go. No, no, honestly, it's OK. Peter, it's fine. I know you. Just go. Really? Yes. All right, I'll phone him later. Thanks, love. Mm. Mm. <laughs> honestly. Will you please say something? Say what? Well, I don't know. Something supportive. Well, I wish I could. I really do. But it's Steve I feel sorry for. I'm Becky. Yes. No, but... be honest. It would never have lasted. Nothing with you ever does. Oh, thanks a bunch. It's the truth. Look, I know she, she's done wrong, but she's still part of this family. You were no better. I was just supporting my daughter. Oh, yeah? And what about Becky? You may have made her mistakes, but to lie and let the whole world believe she was responsible for the death of two babies? Are you trying to torture us? I don't know what I'm trying to do. In fact, I think I'd better go before I say something I'll regret. Brian. Birch sticky ball. Oh. Right here. Oh. No need for a bag. It's for immediate consumption. Oh. It's parent-teacher evening in less than an hour. I need all the help I can get. Oh. <laughs> Never mind her. We close in two minutes. Here we can tell time, thanks. We're just going anywhere. Any news from that sister of yours? Her name's Becky. What are you so interested for, anyway? Well, her departure seems to have upset my son and his wife, and I just wondered if you'd heard anything, that's all. Are you missing her? No, certainly not. Nice to have a bit of peace and quiet at last. I don't believe you. She may be loud, my big sis, but... You don't have miss her when she's not around. Yes, well, you can get attached to a bunion, but you don't miss it when it's gone. I'm sorry, OK? Why? What have you done? Well, I've been a bit hard on you, Anna, with this whole uh, Paul thing. You're only being protective. Yeah, but I didn't see it from your side. I realise it's been tough for you, Mum. Having to put away your real feelings to help a mate, knowing you can only ever be mates. Anyway, I am sorry. Apology accepted. Mum, I promise to be more supportive from now on. Thanks. I'll get it. See? Hey, come in. Your ears must be burning. Just talking about you. Really? Relax. Nothing bad. For you. For you. Um, get your glad rags on, by the way. I'm taking you out. I've got a table for two books. So. Not no, no. It's my way of thanking you for last night. I really couldn't have faced going home to an empty house. Hang on. He stayed here last night? Jase, I should what, have... What, as soon as his wife's in the home, he's straight into your bed? Oh, Jase. It wasn't like that. I don't want to know. Mum, you lied to me. This is wrong. And you know it. <sighs> Steve. All right. Can I offer my sincerest condolences? Yeah. I'd rather have your largest bottle of scotch. Yes. Because if ever a man deserved to wash away his troubles with alcohol, it's you. I appreciate your support. Yes. I, too, have suffered the manipulations of Tracy Barlow. Yeah, he didn't go back for more punishment, though. Got another one of those. 
Carla Connor! Didn't think you'd be coming tonight. Martin? So what's going on? You and Frank sorted things out. The old team's back together. What? I'm meeting him in here in about 20 minutes. I assume you're joining us. No, um... I actually... I was meeting, um, a different client here. Sorry, Martin, this is really embarrassing. I, I, I ought to go. Please don't tell Frank you saw me here. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Drive where? It doesn't matter. Away from here, just drive. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Little Max uh, settling in really well. Oh. Lovely lad, uh, bright as a button. Oh, good. We like him. <laughs> Didn't see him today. He was sick. Oh, nothing too serious, I hope. No, no, just, um, no, a book. Oh, yeah. A lot of it going about. Tommy book, was it? Yeah. Are you sure you're giving him a healthy diet? Yeah, very healthy. Really? Bear in mind, I do see into the little lad's lunchbox on a daily basis. Yeah, so? When the government recommended five a day, they didn't mean packets of crisps. Hang on a minute. Are you saying only feed my kid on crisps? No, no, not at all, no. I, I, I've seen chocolates in there, sweets, cakes. Can't say I've ever seen a piece of fruit. We well, likes cheese. Oh, processed cheese-flavoured lumps of plastic. It's got calcium in it. It's got trans fats and artificial flavours and 34 chemical E numbers. It's not food, it's a chemistry experiment. Are you? And how to feed my son? We came here to talk about his progress at school, not have a lecture on crisps and cheese. Come on, we're going. How dare he talk to me like that? I'm collecting waves like my brother used to collect stamps. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Gonna end up like Henry VIII. Divorce, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. An old's good enough for me. I don't want to see anyone beheaded. Except maybe me. How am I gonna explain this to Amy? With a bit of honesty, and a bit of diplomacy. Just don't expect her to understand it. I don't understand it. No, me neither. It is over, you know, me and Tracy. Yeah, well, I'm not here to plead her case. I can't even look her in the eye. Yeah, or Deirdre. Yeah. Yeah, we're both victims here. Do you want to top up? Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, you'll sort things out with Deirdre. I imagine so, in time. You see, the thing is, I have lost the woman I love. I mean, the only woman I have truly loved. She is now in Barbados with Prince Charming and I'm stuck here. It's a tragedy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I lost the woman I loved. More than once. Steady on, Ken. Yeah, good things come into your life and they shine like bright stars. And then you do something stupid and they fly away. Leaving you right back where you started. Story of my life. Mine too. Why don't you call me? I did. Your phone was off. Oh, I just didn't want the hand calling, that's all. Sorry. Oh, Peter, I nearly had a heart attack. If I'd arrived there a few minutes later, I would have just turned around and bumped into Frank. Yeah, so tell me, why did you pick that restaurant then? Oh, come on, there are thousands of restaurants. I've been there with him, like, once, I think, for work. It wasn't like it was a favour or anything special. So, so now what, hmm? What do we do? Well, I'm, I wish I could say I'd come back to mine, but Michelle's there. I think I'm going to have to persuade her to move out. Well, she wants to. She just needs a deposit for her flight, she told me. Well, that's easily sorted. It just doesn't help us out now, does it? No. Thank you for coming. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. I just can't wait until all this is over. I know. I know, and I'm sorry. Come here. Listen, I love you so much. But you know what? 
I think we should just breathe a huge sigh of relief and go home. <sighs> you sure? It won't be for much longer now. I know, I know. But it's just all this waiting that I can't stand. Come here. <laughs> What's going on? Why couldn't you tell me on the phone? Oh, this is too good for the phone, Sally. And you're the only person I can share it with. Share what? <sighs> Carla was at the restaurant. Carla? Martin bumped into her. She acted like a rabbit in the headlights. What was Carla doing there? Meeting Peter Barlow. I saw them. Only for a second. She was clearly in a panic. She jumped in his car and they drove off. I've already got Trish back on the case. I want them watched every second of every minute before the trial. And if she has evidence of the two of them together... Well, the future is looking a whole lot brighter. Oh, Frank, that's great news. Yeah. Thank you. I've not done anything. Oh, yes, you have. You kept me believing. Look, I'm sorry, but I've told Martin I'm going to have a nightcap with him at his hotel. So I will see you tomorrow, OK? I know. I have faith in you, Tom. Don't let Zach and that glorified housekeeper push you around. You know what's right and what's wrong. Problem is, the two aren't so far apart for one case next. Eternal Law.